Mukama Eva Ziwe. Lord. Pukubiro Mano Yomongala. Let's clap, Madame Leticia. Oh, my nature into Channel Lava and Ganzi. You know, there is one thing I noticed as me. Tuina. There are certain things you observed in our families where we grew up from. And with those people who have brought us, the way they behave, the way they do their things. And you also think or start to think that you will do that when you will be married. May God give us grace, me and you. To understand, there are certain things in my life. Nga, because I have noticed them, they are now fading away from my life. The Bible says my people are getting destroyed because of ignorance. There are certain things we do, and yet they are painful to our partners. Let's do away with that issue of flattery. Most cases I love to preach when my husband I used to tell my husband some issues and he would not, he would not put a keen eye on it he would just take it lightly just turn to that married and tell her only that someone is telling you that really I'm hurt by this thing you're doing and you just ignore it. Tell that marriage that that is the habit that is really pretending you marriage. When your husband tells you something, when your husband tells you something, when your wife tells you something, I really don't understand that person you're walking out with. Don't overlook it. Hope you're hearing me, Marit. Just say only that. Only that. You know, it seems you just think wrongly about me. So now, will I have no friends in my life? It seems to be a light thing. Usually I say, if you find a mother snake, how many of you will pity the snakelets and then you have them? Slow, stop your flattery. That marriage was started by God. That thing of flattery. Someone telling you something they don't want to overlook. I thought maybe you have an issue which is reasonable. Only that. Only that. Tell your neighbor only that. Only that. Tell your neighbor only that. The thing which mostly broke my marriage with my husband that is overlooking what I used to tell him. And then the following day he would regret. He is usually telling me to him now that my wife really I'm not understanding this. I try as much as I can to drop that thing. We have our husbands now. We have our wives. Whereby that that is breaking a marriage. It is the character. And yet we are self-denying. I have a certain young girl. Where you used to rent. Every time Pastor would 
he would call the young girls around. Where is Joah? Where is Joah? Where is Joah? So I would not really mind about it. Praise the Lord. But one day it was really too much on me. So I told my husband, I want us to really be great. This young girl, if you don't get here, before you enter the house, you call this person, what do you really feel within you? Then he told me I want us to go to the prayer mountain Because I lost it Please Praise the Lord I want us to start Being in agreement with each other's partners To be in agreement with each other's partners we, in most cases overcome these small foxes if we are really open we went to the prayer mountain and then he put on strength such that he overcome that last before sleeping with that girl say amen so please don't despise don't despise that habit don't despise that character if your spouse speaks about no, something and you coil up with a snail for a full month. I asked my husband, but now I really don't understand you. Till when I softly handled him and then he told me the secret. So he told me, you know, I had no parent to bring me. So I got to know who I was dealing with. So I told him, you had no parent that is the same thing with me when I was growing up. So I want us to help each other. Say amen. Turn to your neighbor and tell them that allow your partner to help you. Praise the name of the Lord. So now I am Pastor Freddy and he is my father. No one is going to sit me down. It is Pastor Semogere who has to. And I have to sit him down also. He allows me speak into his life. And I also allow him speak into my life. Say Amen. Brethren, don't take any issue as lightly. If it is annoying your partner, please drop it. If you're really failing to drop it, tell your partner to help you through prayer. Tell him really I can't manage doing away with this issue But let's be in argument and we pray I'm weak in this area I can't do away with alcohol but pray for me I'm weak in this area that partner of yours will feel really you're the best friend Amen. You know, there is a brethren who said, and this was a pastor, who was a preacher, God was using him mightly, but one day, he thought he was really too righteous. He saw himself as a righteous person. So he asked the wife, My wife, if Jesus happens to come right now to take us, do you see me unworthy to go? It is the husband asking the wife. So the wife told the husband that really, what do you expect may not be that, you may not make it. 
So the husband asked, "What is the reason to make me fail to make it to heaven?" So the wife told me, "Please give me time. Whatever concerns you needs a full day." I'm talking to the marrieds. I have a friend. Is this kind of person who can sit me down and I listen to him? That is Pastor Frederick Semogere. He's the kind of person who can tell me I don't need that kind of clothes. And yet even sometimes he's not the one who has bought that clothes. I took it to that cemetery so tail and then it was made. So I just get to know that since my husband has not liked it then anyone else would know. I'm also a good giver so he told me every kind of clothing I buy for you do not give it out so I don't. Because he wants to see me put on his clothes. Do away with this issue of flattery. That marriage you're playing about with is considered by God. Don't play about with God's gold. Only that. Only that. Because I didn't tell you where I was going. So what? I beseech you, my friend. Don't joke about with that girl you're having. Don't play about with that girl of God. I told Mr. Semogere that my friend, my heart really loves you, but never despise anything that I tell you. Please draw with that issue of taking things lightly. So he now dropped that. Because I told him I don't like it. Playing about with something that has pained me. Only that. Our husbands, you have a problem. You don't really give us time. These ladies in their life, they need your time, not meaning buying them what they need. But please give them time and speak to them. However much you promise this and that for them, Adam never took time with the wife. That is why Satan took time and talked to her. I don't know if you have really understood it. Buy time and sit down with your partner however much you are not having any penny. Speak to each other. Cancel each other and pray for each other. You man talk. I believe, yes, you have But if you have the words that you can speak with your friends out there, isn't it much better if you do it with your wife? Please speak to your wife. Tell your wife, my wife. We are going through this, but when God helps us through, I expect to do this and this and this. That wife would like to hear what you have within you. But you have all the time for your friends out there. So on reaching at home, you coil up like you have no words. How many of you are hearing? I'm showing you some of the small things. They seem light. You overlook them because they don't look big. Moving out anyhow. Without communicating to your partner. You just reply, hey, what did I take that belongs to you? 
Tell your neighbor that please be careful, Satan. We have opened up the door and he has entered what the what you You just say, is there anything that I took where I went? And this is two way. I told Pastor Frederick that please visit you. If you're not around. I don't want you to go out with my Because no one can speak into your life more than me. Please just help me and pick up my phone calls. It just shows that really I'm concerned. Amen. But how can you just walk away when you're not And when then you communicate to you, you speak or reply rudely. Please tell your neighbor, don't flat about with the gold you're having. God is really happy with things to do with marriage. Even when you are in an intercourse with your partner, that heaven is all joyous. Say amen. Don't joke about with marriage. And no one of us is about Please share with your partner the temptations that come your way. Say amen. One of the things that was really perturbing me was quarreling. I was short-tempered so much. But my husband sat down and prayed for me. Thank your neighbor and tell him, please pray for your wife. She will change. Pray for your husband. I got married to Pastor Samogere when I was a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. I was a pastor and Pastor Samoge was not yet when we got married. So, most of the times I would speak to him, I would realize that I'm talking to someone young in salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. So it became a problem to me because I used to. I used to underlook him because he was still young spiritually. Don't underlook your spouse. It is God who will also nurture them. Handle your partner properly. Say amen. What we call character from wherever you have gone It has done a lot to defile whatsoever God prepared for man. Try as much as you can to deal with your character and never despise what your spouse when your partner tells you to go and brush your teeth, please do so. If your spouse tells you that you have some bad smell, please come to your If they are not comfortable with that perfume you came with, then please try to convince them. Don't overlook anything. We are Christians. And some of our husbands are not Christians. We have to become an answer to them. Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Simogere is here, was testifying unto you. He used to flatter a lot. You would tell him something and he flatters. He would not esteem what you told him. He would just say, you, would, you would hint a reason Tell your neighbor don't overlook that necklace before you. Sherry, abo bota mbola na bo, my husband, you know, I stumbled oh, against those people so, uh, you're moving uh, with. And you just say, so you know, we'll, shall we now move with animals? 
Uh, you tell your spouse, you know, I'm not understanding this, and you just say only that. that. You are overlooking that issue. I was testifying unto these people that no one counts me because I'm a pastor. Truly, no one can come to counsel me apart from my husband, Pastor Semogere. And I'm the one to see. see. And I tell him also that please this this issue. And I give him time to ponder about what I've told him. That is why it is rare to find me when you are quarreling with my husband. We come to minister when we are in a good mood. And then I tell him I tell him every kind of thing so, that I really don't want. I just tell him when God gives you the yeah, grace to yeah. drop that, thank you so much. Yeah. So I go yeah. from his presence. Yeah. I leave him pondering about those issues I've told yeah. him. Yeah. By the moment I go back to him, yeah. he just tells me that, you know yeah. what? Yeah. I'm not going to do it again, but also you please, this and this issue. That is now, we are 20 years down the road in marriage. Learn to open up. Learn to open up to your spouse. Don't hide anything from them. You will see that you shall overcome all the ways. If you come to understand that you never married an angel. Hallelujah. Amen. We have the character. I want to speak to both sides the men and the women. Even those following us online, I respect Hallelujah. you. Amen. Marriage was started up by God, not your friends that you go telling this and that. Do away with all those friends that you tell your marriage issues. And I cancel that out in Jesus' mighty name. I don't want people who do not build you up to be amidst your marriage. Those kind of counselings you get from oh, anywhere are Those friends who huh? never manage their marriages are your friends. Amen. Thank you. Amen. The people who do not build you up are the ones you make your friends. Kibakuzimba. Those who can't devote you in any way. Kubiri. Those who have two wives. Those who have two husbands. Huh? those who are always having their marriages yes, broken down. I don't know if you really got me. May God give us the grace to stop playing about with our marriages. Amen. 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 Nenga waluo amakage na limo mkwano guwangi Umami na umchala Nengo umchala umami ya duka Nengo umchala umami ya duka Umgamba dayoji wako zechi Jova dova Nenda kuzino msajia ya duka Umchala nonye sala jasa wako Mio msajia tamulaku Nenga jia genda Nenga msajia jia genda amanyi iyo Nenga ya msindika iyo Atenga wasajia tuinobu zibobunu Jetu siwa tu kola tu ina tu kole miro majanja u tu dia waka neyo gendo kuvanga jori de mire ba ba tu kola buluundi mana ba driver de mire budi chumi chona chitu sabuni na tu rudi waka atu yili na magamani dayo jo kola chi jova no no na weta na kola chi na dayo na ebo anabanga kiri zanja kumpule tiro oyogere na yomu chala o mweku magazi nenga mkuwa fai mire mkuwa no jangi. Marriages are getting broken. You just 
tell your neighbor don't play with a snake even with its snake I want to thank the Lord brethren for this moment I'm a married woman a full year, my husband had run away. I would abuse him the whole night. So I finally went. Tell your neighbor that kind of character cannot help you in a marriage. Praise the Lord. You get bitter every time because you got angry. You take a full month having coiled up. Kwegata. No having intercourse. And yet the temptations just think about the testimony You find that our children praise the Lord. Yes, Praise Jesus. Do we need Maybe you can meet up with our new couples. You enter into a marriage. You just think that it's all to do with having intercourse only and yet you also don't it. You behave the way you want. You got married and stayed with those friends you used to have before you got married. Most cases, if we happen to plant a banana plant, at every stage, this banana plantation goes to, it has to drop some of the leaves. What we call that dry banana leaves, they used to be very good banana leaves. There are also in your life those kind of friends who you have to really drop. There are some friends that really to to they don't respect your husbands. They don't respect your wives. They have two wives. And you make them your friends. You cannot go with adultery if you have such friends. Hallelujah. Amen. I beseech you, marriage. I quarreled and quarreled, but my marriage was just destroyed. Hallelujah. Praise God. May God give us the grace. After getting saved and church, there is a biblical way which is not of the world. Praise the Lord. Handle your wife with care. Handle your husband with care. Please cherish them. Compliment them about the But do you know having no compliment toward your partner but only other men? The wife is for you. You don't thank them. You just consume their food. And it is two way. And it is two way. You have to thank them in all kinds for all the meals they prepare for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you understood that. Is there anything singing in your head? Amen. But we just tell them you know. Please today in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. There is someone with a question. I am first wife. But I have a, a haggard. 
And this age was wedded. What should I do? The second one. How do I handle a snoring husband? How do I handle a snoring husband? How do you help your husband with a grinding teeth while sleeping? He's the first wife at home. But then, got a co wife who was officially married. So, what should this first wife do? Babanga, Omami or no? This man, officially married to a woman. And yet, she wasn't the that means this woman is the accepted one so please mm. that kind of of woman fruta. come to mommy this knowing man that, that is a demon you have to pray for him that it has to be struck don't just please make them feel uncomfortable if you have a patient who is in ICU and yet you are the nurse, can you really strike or beat that person? Because they are sick, you don't beat them up. So now, that snoring is the disease to your husband. Please help them. Even that grinding of teeth is also a spiritual issue. I am saved and I want to have dry fasting. And my husband is not saved. Should I refuse when it is time when he wants to make love? The Bible says you have to fast that agreement as the marriage. Please do your fasting during the day at night. Serve him with whatever he wants. Let your dry fasting work for only during the day. Uh -huh. How do you handle a sexual matters if your husband is important? Please, we just pray for such a husband. Handle that husband. And then both of you enter into prayer and then you pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. God will have mercy to it. Pray for him. I had such an issue in the amendments they made that if they happen to find this important man according to the law that you have read but for us here, let's pray. This man will have to get well. Omusaja wange aline mpaka. Ye wadereza. Bulimwengeza wako kumuwa wula. Ate yenga ayongira mpaka na kumfuma. Kore entia. My husband does not accept to be cancelled. So what? Uyo mkwate mpola mpola. Eda nalimu untayomba. Way back, I used to quarrel. Wherever I wanted to tell him any issue, I would just come in a wrong way. And till when he told me that really, if you want to talk to me, speak to me calmly. So treat that, 
treat that patience with a lot of care using amicable ways really he will have to accept what you're telling him how do you deal with Haggard who is bewitching your home and is determined to take over ono mchalo ono mujawo omukolo tya bwabanga akologa eranga amaliride okutwala makago chawa ndege bachire muchitebe cha yobu esule yabire mu mus Job 28 verse 7 The Bible says Nobody is able to get out there is a path which is really hidden from every kind of people If that person is bewitching you she is not about that. Put on strength spiritually and attack whatsoever is upon that woman. But don't do it physically you not manage. Twesanze ngaba weleza banji amakaba gasulide bagasulide nti baweleza Yesu erange na kunyinje basura mbu ku makanisa je baweleza tukoze tutia. Many ministers have left their homes and they are sleeping even in churches most of the nights so what should we do yes. this is one of the problems of the christians praise the lord even when you're going to seek god you first have to meet with your partner agree on the days But let your seeking of God not become a problem to your marriage. You end, up, you end up dropping your spouse. But have agreement and then you will do what is right. We don't get crazy when we have become Christians. And that is really not ngoli mufumbo if you are married omwami wange tayagala mwana wange yansanga na ye omwami mazina ye myaka musavu ngale tuina mwana nkole ntia my husband doesn't love my child that he found me with and i've spent seven years with my husband what should i do tugenda kusaba kubango lo lujo mulaba asobola kulukozesa nato obufumbo bwa mwana we going to pray because we are 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 going to This man, this man is not really farming that kusaba. marriage because for him he has Elan no child. I do not live in this place with my children. Without praying for us. My husband is not really farming that marriage because for him he has no child. I do not live in this place Atenze chasigara chinuma korentia. My husband loves me and I love him but he got saved now but he still takes out the gongo gufulo musaigwa Yesu. So you have to pray for that husband and every time kubikulirwe sura esura 10 nemo runyoro omukaga bible ga twino obuyinzo obufulo amazo musayi. We were given the authority to Omwenge gwabalo gufulo musaigwa Yesu. So make Ate that wine to kambu wala. The blood of Jesus Oyomba. and do it calmly and start praying for your husband he will get well okay. praise the lord amen okay ndekerao musumbo musajja gwe nazala mu mwana musiramu ate mukama agama nti ye mwami wange ate musajja yagala nsiramu ke zimbane sazewo okumuleka nkuri ntia tukirize katonda tudemu tubuze mukama God is going to Katonda save that man and kill your husband. Ajja kuloko kabwabanga yeye. If he's really the one, he'll get saved. Nze mu makage ndimu na gayingira mu ngasi nsina ngasina salam. Omwami wange si mulokole wakatuli. Nzo mchana ndi mulokole. My husband is a Catholic and I'm born again. Mukama yantu mukubulire njiri 
Eyo mukatari. Told me to go. Na yo mami yangambi. My husband told me. Wansanga yo. If he finds me there. Ajapo si biyake biyangu biyonambi sangu kumuri yango. You love to force me. What will I do? I'm so sorry. Prosabe. Let's pray. Prosabe. Let's pray. 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 Let's Praise God, Church. Yes, we have a Kanisa. My my husband doesn't share his finances at all. O mami wangu bikuata gana nensi mbi banangen zesimani. But me, I share everything. Na yens. What should I do? Ibiangen bika bana na ebi onan kolentia. Eye taka kusabira na kumu kuata mpola mpola katunda bufule mo moto molala. Please pray for that husband and handle him carefully. You will turn him into another person. Praise God, Pastor. Yes, yes, Is it right for a born again Christian to use a family planning methods? family planning. It is really, it is really possible if you've agreed with your husband. It is for the marriage and not adulterers. If you have really agreed with your partner. You can use any method. And these methods are for the marriage. Now you are asking that really, Pastor, isn't that murdering? It is an argument between two. There is this issue. In Genesis, this man said the brother had died amongst Israelites if a brother would take up the first child this one would get the but Judah's son said this word if I sleep with this woman these children won't be mine so he had he had all the so with on that intent that really, with everything we do God looks at the intention Hallelujah. Amen I got married when I was not born again but after realizing the truth that marriage outside matrimony is really adultery so it is really hurting I spent five years in this marriage and this man had never even visited our home what should I do? I don't expect you to divorce your husband but pray for him you introduce and you will wear hold fast your marriage I have a child with a married man he cares so much about us but he has his wife I'm not saying with him the question is am I married or not please you've already answered yourself don't you see that you're really outside that marriage that isn't your marriage and I pray for you your own marriage may God grant your husband why is it that this husband that I have doesn't mind about the issues that they need yet he wants me to care and yet he does painful things to me 
Era katonda bwana ba tuzema kukunga na ngomu leta leta mpola mpola nga uliliza. If we have another conference, please help that husband to make it to this place. This is what you've been talking about. When your spouse tells you anything, if your partner tells you anything, if your partner tells you anything, Don't underlook it to gun take it to your friends. Work on that issue that pains your partner. If he or she has opened up unto you and they say, "Oh, I'm not going to be with you anymore." So with all that, you're no just being told. Everyone, and you also have to be well. Mm. If you get a husband, if you get misunderstandings, mm. what do you do? Mm. You pray. Pastor, mm. advise the ladies to put on decently. Some put on tightly clothes, short dresses, tight pants. What, a, what does the Bible say? Talk about dressing. Is there anyone who is not listening, hearing? It is really good to put on in a way that glorifies God, praise God. The ladies of our house. 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 There are people. You don't need to put on indecently. Let us have a good time for the glory of God. How can we make our marriage happy? Ofumbo wa fetu yinza tutia okubusa nyukira. Nga. Chinte che manye chiri chimonti. Mugu fumbo wuno. Te wali champion. Asubu la gama tenze ndi mukugu. There is no one who is. An expert to with marriage, we are all learners. Tuiga. We are all just learning. Kasto tegera timuna aliwati. The moment you get to understand how Kwa your ampola, partner ampola. is, please softly handle them. Chachi. You can bring them Nga to church. As you see, we've come as married here, or wherever you fellowship from. In any issue, when it is to do with You can handle that person with care. And they become what you want. But the first thing is you to humble down that change. If you change with the way you talk and the way you do things, nothing will have to fail. I was married and got married to an unborn again. I dreamed a pastor telling me Why I got married to a person who is not saved. I got another dream when we are really paupers. We are indeed paupers six years now. So how can I come out to this? It seems maybe he is not your partner. I've a bit skipped this. Now it is your issue to present this case to God. Now ask God, really, is this my real partner? Is it right for a man to take the children's side even when they are wrong? Chitu for masaji yokuwe kuvira kusaidi yaba na vuli kasera ni wangu badenga boba cham. E chigambo chile chimonti bana aboluganda wata sume sebo abuwinyo. It is very bad not to be taught. Ngato na ba kufuna ba na ba na wasoka kufuna niabu oba chitabu. Before getting those children, you first go to your partner. In the name of Jesus, I beseech you. This person who gave birth to those children is the first priority to you. Please respect her. You are an example to your children. You are nurturing the generation. Whereby you will not be around and respect them. What they So you do is what they take on. If you happen to show this young man, not to mind about their wives, they also do the same. If you show this young girl that really marriage is one side. That is why you're seeing the marriage using off and off. Now change immediately. And 
you start showing them that really you honor their mom is it wrong to refuse dad? sex when i don't feel like having it i'm a woman shitufo kugana ebyo kwegata wembanga mpulira sagala kati ngogano otye now on which ground you stand to refuse Just pray for the press and you give in the bible says give no gap to satan and it is to side so may be in need when you such that you make your partner happy Mm-hmm. I have two children of, of which they are of which their father is not staying with us. He married another woman. And God was showing me that he is the one for me. But after some time I got dreams one pastor bring me another man. And telling me that to, to leave the other the other one. Does God really change his mind? Uh-huh. Yeah, I would really love the other first one to come back. Have you had that? To be the husband in marriage. And yet he doesn't want you to be together. Being married to a husband. And yet he doesn't want you to be together. He doesn't want you to have intercourse with him really. What is that? He is being one possessed. He is being one possessed. Dreaming when a big snake is within your clothes, what does it mean? Really, your marriage is attacked by the devil. Nalota nga sister wange bawe nga alinomu kazo amuagara. Ilanga ayagara kuwa sister wange sente ye atu alomu sajia. I dream to my sister's husband has another word that he likes. Na yate ni sister nakiriza omuame weba mutuari wa muwe musente. My sister accepted her husband to be taken. What does this mean? There is nothing you can trade your money with your marriage with. That kind of friendship that is really exchanging your marriage with money, fire it. Why do men doesn't want women to complain about what they do to us? Whether small or big. And why do they really want to overtell us about what they give us? The issue is poverty. When someone <laughs> You cannot do that to your partner. I used to abuse my husband. That was poverty. If you married to a family, and they are very adulterous, and they are quarrelsome, and you stay near that family, you don't expect even to go over it. You don't expect even what you really do when even yet your husband is not abusing you you're going to pray for that family you're not going to run away from it pray for that family and God will deliver it my husband refuses me to pray what should I do handle him with care he will allow you I'm married. Omwami yange ya tampa sanyu burunji. Nkorentia. Oyo wa kuyigiriza funa. Mukama yebazi baburuganda. Praise the Lord. Buruganda muchiwulira. Are you hearing this? Omwami tamumatiza. The husband does not satisfy her. Tubinji binji wanowe tuli. 
According to the place where we are, I'm leaving this issue to Pastor Frederick to go deep in it. Because this is a deep problem amongst the young men and women. You move just a little mile and then you draw with it. We need to pray for our marriages. The issue is now we are mixed up with so even the non-marriages. So you may not truly so go to the deep of it. Of it. Let's uh, welcome our dad. Daddy Waja. As he's coming. Let everyone If you really need the children, turn your feet. You in I don't want this issue of saying my hand is risen up but it's in the heart. If you really want to keep that, put your hands on your stomach. The Lord will I pray for these children. They have the marriage, but they need the children. Some have some children, but they need the money, 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 but they need the money. The Lord before whom I stand. Perform a miracle. I command you to conceive. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right to be in the presence of God. Let your children have the right Holy Spirit. The Bible says that you sent forth the Spirit of God. I now send the Spirit of God to create the children in your own. May God give you children and make that curse of blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, we have a son. Praise Jesus. Love Jesus mightily. We thank God today. Love Jesus mightily. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God because you're here and you've come. I want to inform you. You're coming here. When the Spirit of the Lord has called us, you've not wasted your time. When the Spirit of the Lord has called us, you've not wasted your time. You've not wasted your time. He's going to pay you. He's going to pay you for your coming. In the name of our Lord Jesus. God is going to pay you for your coming. How many have come here for the first time? Raise your hand. Please 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 raise your hand. Wow. You are most welcome. Thank you for coming. Thanks for loving God. In the name of the Lord. Amen. May this thing I'm going to talk about. What he told me to talk about. Bachita kuagalana. Is love. Whatsoever issues that you're hearing about, what is going to wind them up, and all the questions you have that is really perturbing you, one thing perturbing you is love. Yes, we have a Amen. The scripture that we are given is Matthew chapter 12. Verse 25. Matthew 10. 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 Every kingdom divided against self, against itself, is brought to isolation. And every city or house divided against self shall not stand. That is a very powerful word. 
Enyumba bwe yao kana mu yokana yoka. If a house is divided among us so. Tesobola kuyimirira. It can't stand. Kubira Yesu ngalwa mchase mwogerere. Let's clap Jesus for Pastor Grace. Ngabo abada ko mutulizi. Namuwa sanga chenye ndokoke. As she has been testifying, I was still in I married how we found many challenges. In our marriage. Ah, uh, And because I was still young, spiritually, she found so many challenges. I also found so many challenges. But we thank the Lord. The Lord helped us. And then we are one. So as the Bible says, in this very scripture, this is the power that is hidden in us. The power that is hidden within this scripture is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God. Is the custody of God's power. When a house is divided among a soul, it cannot stand or last for long. If you have a building and it gets cracks, it begins to fall down. What Satan is looking for is to bring a cracks. And then you get misunderstandings. What the Holy Spirit is looking for is to see all the time in the marriage that we seek to have agreement as soon as possible. Uh huh. agreement, what reconciliation? You must always seek reconciliation. Wherever you meet challenges, just get to know that really Satan is after something and many marriages are now suffering because of poverty but because of those misunderstandings. So every time we have misunderstandings, every time pastor and the wife would have misunderstandings, they had misunderstandings with Pastor Grace. Uh-huh. Yes, we have Amen. And when the the reason was, 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 the Amen. All the misunderstandings we had in our family were as a result of poverty in our home. The poor really quarrel. They always get misunderstandings. So, what use to make us have those misunderstandings was poverty. And that's why I was always abused. I was a businessman for so many years. So when I reached home, then he found some photos that were showing my life where I used to be. He realized when I was not working, and yet God had refused me to start business again. And God never spoke to her. He spoke to me. So, started abusing me daily from 8 up to 3 in the night so from that day I hated poverty I really hated poverty from that time poverty brings misunderstandings usually but again also when you're very rich it can also bring misunderstandings praise Jesus but one day after the misunderstandings when I had quit my marriage I stayed praying me I used not to pray. I used to stay calm but my wife really was very she was really unstable and bitter but God showed me something 
that really touched me. He gave me a vision. And then he told me that please tell my people. Starting with you and your wife. Reconcile. If you reconcile, there are so many things I want to give you. So all of us who are seated here, there are so many things that we have for our marriages. But today, it is hard for us to get there. Till when God says that we have really reconciled. But while you help us, what will help us? Love. Is kwagalana. Love. Okwagalana. Unconditional. Unconditional love. Okwagalana okutali ukobu kwa kulizo. The great love of God. Okwagala okokwaba katonda. Okutali ukobu kwa kulizo. That love without any conditions. People have their conditions. Kati hude waga mati wauri aizo banga yatome ruendiga. So maybe someone is important. Someone has said. Everyone has got their weaknesses. The woman has no her weaknesses. The man also has no his. But if really there is love. God is going to help you. And you are going to overcome all things. Whether you believe or not, if you really reconcile, God is going to help us. The scripture says, I'm going to use scriptures so much because they're the ones to help us. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 and 19. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 and 19. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18 and 19. Elabe nabe minu sumu la kuhunsi Bili sumu la muguru Na temba gama ntu waba nina mwebabidu wa Ngabeta ba kuhunsi kulichigambo chenina chivali saba Chiriba kulu la chitanga alimu kuru Weba lenyo Mijichawa ni kuchitabu wandi kabunje biyawa wandi kiwa Write those scriptures properly Odeo yukuna mulu vision Afterwards go back and read them Because today there is some poverty that is came from you There is some poverty that is going to be God is going to deliver people to them And he has already started to In this place we have God's presence He said I indeed tell you Whatsoever you bind here on earth in heaven it shall also be bound whatsoever you lose here even in heaven it shall be lost there is power of two persons if you can agree on anything huh? God will do it for you what Satan does is now to make you have his presence you find the wife is in agreement with the wife the husband, and then your blessing has to Turn away from you. A man showed me in a vision that you see that wealth. Can you really bring it yourself? I told him I cannot. So he told me the day you will reconcile with your wife, I'll give you all that wealth. So all, your wealth is not far from you. I was with and then we prayed with a certain woman we prayed they had taken 26 years in marriage and not in argument with the husband and they were really poor this woman in her being poor God helped us. We met with this woman. We prayed with this woman. And she had said it to Peter Murray because of the challenges she was facing. But God said she should not leave. She should not leave. But really what amazed us, even the money she needed, was within that very marriage. Praise the Lord. How are you, brethren? So I want to inform you today in the name of our Lord Jesus. You must love each other. We 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 must love each other. 
and love Mukama one another. God told me we were here praying all night with intercessors. But after the prayer, I got a vision. God told me, go tell my people that false love. They have false love. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. They have false love. False love. We must avoid false love. As we've been told, false love. There are certain things on which you notice this yeah. in your life. Soma. Olusemba yo. Tulimba Korinso. Ekisoke sura 12 nnyi rwasa tumorum. Mm. Na yetu egombe nge bilabe bisinga obukulu. Era mbalaga ekubo elisinga enyo obulungi. Ekubo elisinga enyo obulungi. Yesu yebazwe. Praise Jesus. Elinya Yesu yebazwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Na gambe chigambe echo. He said that word. Mbalaga ekeko bachiteke ke chawa ndikiwa. Praise the name of Jesus. That we should always desire the gifts. But the best gifts. Yet I will show you a still more excellent way one of the one that is better by far and the eyes of them all love the more excellent way way the most excellent way that most excellent way is that way of love the way we are going to take there is the way we are going to take which the more excellent way this way is love but what to do if you are really to have speed in our marriages in our marriages we are going to use this way of love for one another Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Gamba, the most excellent way. Yet, I will show you the most excellent way. Which way is love? Excellence will make you do things which they don't expect you to do. There are things they don't expect you to do yet. You have to do them. Like loving the unlovables. You will do things whereby even when you are very angry, you do things they don't expect you to do. Even when you are very angry, you do what they don't expect you to do. And he chapter went on explaining. In chapter 13. You go to chapter 13 for verse 1. He's showing you what love does. Now, about the spiritual gifts, especially endowments of supernatural energy, brethren, I do want you to be. Huh? Chapter 13 from verse 1. Yeah. That if you can speak the tongues of the angels, yet you have no love. All that. You're like a clanging brass. Uh-huh. So, 
when you see this scripture it shows you that love is supposed to be the force behind everything you are doing whatsoever you do behind it in whatsoever you do behind it there has to be this force of love for God is all of the world and he gave his only begotten son the word was not good no but the force or the power behind giving was love the world was unlovable we are God's enemies but God loved us unconditionally now we are going also to do things because of love I'm going to do things because of love. Many times I find challenges but I meet the challenges I tell God to give me more love. To give me more love. I find myself doing it. Verse 8 Verse 8 Verse 8. You Nebobera so the thing that's supposed to be motivating you to do anything you must be motivated by love hello you must be motivated by love to do anything whether you in whatever I'm doing I have to be driven by love so we have no love it is the love that is lacking in our marriages you love your husband and also the man you love your wife if that exists in a marriage love is a lubricating agent it will deal with every kind of friction it's a lubricant everything that love you find if love comes in if love comes in, if love comes in that issue you're seeing will have to fade away Yes, we have a sway. Praise Jesus. Praise Amen. the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Orokuna. Okuagala kugumikiriza. Think about that statement. Lowoza kuchigambecho. Okuagala kukolachi. Kugumikiriza. You we want to see the scriptures. Why don't you put up the scripture? Love does what? Okuagala Love is what? Love is patient. Love endures long. This is not common love. Endurance is patience with some kind of pain. Love endures long. You really get patient with something and is patient. And pain even within your being patient. False love. You always thinking about your side only, but this love wants not. You have seen. Huh? you don't take yourself to be you are all equals in the home 
you look at your spouse as an equal what you feel wants, want to be done to you to eat to your spouse if you want to be loved then love your spouse what you really would wish for yourself wish it for another what you really would wish for yourself some of us are we take ourselves to be high higher than others, but love does yes. not do this. when Jesus came to teach us love the way he showed us love however much he was God he reached a level of being very lowly he really went wrong he was even born in a crowd but it was love behind all that you've not maybe understood Jesus yes. is God's extension of love to the world Jesus is God's love yes. when God gave us Jesus he gave us his love so Jesus yes. is God's extension of God's love to the world but when Jesus came here, hello, hello, he went down. He was humble. He went low. If you really want to understand what is, stop taking you so kindly. Stop bursting down. Stop bragging about it. will use you you are going to become my punching bag I'm going to use you you're going huh? to be my example today yeah. so te we, te we, te we kurumbasa. do not te we kurumbasa. take it so highly take it so highly take it so highly don't do unworthy mm. things whatsoever so you see that is unworthy please don't te do it te kuno nyabiyako te kunyiga are you hearing mm. you must read this and see love no love the characteristics of love are here you don't seek your own in you love you don't seek your own in huh? love you think about the other person pastor, pastor Grace was telling us something she used to tell my husband I feel bad about this yes she tells me that really I feel bad about this but because love seeks not its own I have to seek out what she wants such that we balance I need to balance the boat I don't think about my, my, my things only I always think about her things she has her own things do you get what I'm saying you don't seek your own because Jesus would have remained in heaven but he thought about us and he came down because he thought about, about us now he was also starting to think about that person put on their shoes and then say if I were that person praise Jesus praise Jesus verse 8 of Rome this book First Corinthians chapter 8, 13 verse 8 love, I love I want this very verse love never fails I want this one. Love never fails. Never fades out or becomes absolute or comes to an end. In everything in marriage, if there is love. You can't fail. You can't fail. You can't have value love never fails you've not heard this but poverty is living today in every kind of bad habits 
This is God's character. We must emit that character. Are we together? Amen. Love fails not. Anything you do with love will never fail. Love fails not. You won't say that I've really failed so much. The reason as to why you're failing out with because that man. Because you don't have love. But love fails not. When God had failed to receive the man. When he wanted to redeem man. He used a weapon. Which, which fails not. And this weapon is called. Love. He tried all means and he failed. Now he used the last weapon. And that weapon is called love. The same weapon. You are going to apply it in your marriage. If you use the same weapon. Huh? Nothing will be impossible for you. And he's impotent. He's like this. You cannot pray for a person unless you have love for that person. You can't. We have got issues with sin in But when love came in, at first we never had it. But when love came in, I started defending my wife. This is what I started with this. Because Jesus loved his church and his church hello Jesus loved his church. When Jesus loved the, the church he died for the church. Can you die for your, your, your partner? You leave all the rest and you pray for your spouse because you know he's impotent. If you really love him, you will pray for him and he will be delivered. And he will be delivered. I repeat this. Brethren, if we are Christians, we must understand love and the love, love of God. God. The love of God, which is an unconditional love. If you have love, you will be able to do all things. You will manage to do all things. You will manage to do all things. You'll have to pray for that person. You'll manage to change your marriage. You'll manage to chase away everything that is within your marriage. Now examine yourself. Do you really have love? The love of God. The percepts of John. The first piece of John. Examine yourself. If love fails not. You will never be failure in life. Everything will have to be back in order. Now someone will again leave this place, go back and abuse that husband of hers. Or the wife. You became one. When you abuse your wife, you are abusing yourself. When you are abusing your husband, you are abusing yourself. And God will judge you. Because there is a law of love. Which can be applied. Anyway. In any situation. First piece of John. Chapter 4, verse 6. Mm. Verse 6. Uh, 
kubango kwa gala kuveli katonda na buli mtie naye gala ya zali wa katonda ila tegera katonda ah ata ya gala tategera katonda kubanga katonda kwa gala wonderful have you heard bachulide god is what love katonda if kwa gala <laughs> Atayagala tamanyi katonda. If you Era have not love, you, know you don't know God and you've never known chichi. him because Agala. God Kana is love. Agala. You must now. Oh, no Rachel, welcome Olina. God in your home. Okwaniza katonda mumakago. Kana kuagala. God is love. God is love. Katonda kuagala. If you find a home without love, kasto sanga makaga tali mukwagala. That means that home. Chitegeza there is no God. He called God is love. Kuvanga katonda kuagala. How many want to be loved? Let me pause the question. We've been posing your question. This is my question. How many want to be loved? I want someone who wants to be loved. Do you want to be loved? Really? If you want to be loved, love the unlovables. Love everyone. As you love other person, they will love you. As you hate, they will hate you. Now you are gone. If you want to be loved, then love others. Even to young, your money is coming. Things are such easy. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. But you should not go. Everything will have to come to an end. We shall see more again. Pastor, one time we prayed. After then Satan somehow perturbed us. No matter, I don't, I, I, I don't go crazy. No matter. But I stayed calm. No. I don't know what happened to Pastor. Na Mrs. Semogere, she ran crazy. Abused Abuse me. And me. after abusing me when I was calm, a voice told me, you were going to get a blessing, but it has now flown away. So I'm telling you from now Every time you'll go crazy You'll have to lose something Let me tell you some of the crews Whenever you, you get annoyed in your home From today Onwards Remember that whenever you get annoyed in your home there is something the devil will steal from you so someone gave her money like 6 million but it was supposed to be ours but instead this person told her to pray for her and then was told to transfer it to another person God told me that we have just lost that money because of that moment when we had run crazy if love fails not hello failing is stopping tonight Failing is stopping tonight. Operating is stopping tonight. Morning is stopping tonight. Lacking is stopping tonight. Are we together? Amen. Those who are not here, we are not here. We are not here. We are not here. When you're having any other. issue ministers, we just because call each I, other. That is my help meet. It's my help. Do you know that? If it is my help, it's more powerful than I am. I call her. Yeah, my help is more powerful than I am. I call her. Yeah, my help is more powerful than I am. I call her. Yeah, my help is more powerful than I am. I call her. Yeah, then we hold hands and we have an agreement and over that issue. And we make a prayer of agreement. When we pray, God comes in and intervenes and deals with that problem. Just change the way you've been doing your things now. Start now. 
Stand now. Start now. This message has come to heal our homes. It's, it has come to heal our families. God is about to restore whatever you lost in the past. What seems to be hard for you with God will be possible. With God all things are possible. In other words, with love all things are possible. Because God, God is love. Kakagabina, we go out again. If you think just to consider with your partner, or seven feet in Gomkuti, we go. They start praying. Make that pray of agreement, and you pray over such issues. Oba mo sabira chichi, mo kwa to mukaka mchana. Whatever issue you're praying for, and tell your partner now we are praying for this. Sukurufi ziga ani. We are now the Bible the peace, but the Bible says, you remind God with your prayer, you say it, God, you say it in your word. If you agree on any issue, you answer us. Now we are agreeing, we are making a prayer of agreement for this issue. God will come in. From now, with love, pray with love. God is going to do great things. Isn't it so? If Mrs. Mogere has a she used to feed me, you know, between six and seven years. years. I never had my money. Pastor Frederick this woman who do everything in our home. But it is Mrs. She was paying the rent. Who had the money and she would she was buying me clothes. She was paying for everything. That woman. For seven, between six and seven. I never handled even a single coin. No. But God was the one who had put me in such a condition. So Mrs. Semogere would hide the money sometimes. At times she used to hide the money. And God would tell her to get it out. And today if she has the money, when we are having any issues, Pastor just says, please, please first bring that money. She just brings, brings it. it. So if a I get my and then she brings something, so she tells me, that is the word you use. She tells me, I'm doing this and this, do you have some money? So I give her the money, and then she goes on. There is on. power of two persons. <laughs> Two are better than one. When the two fail to chase a person or uh, an enemy, when one, 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 one fails to chase um, an enemy, two will not fail. Um, one Bible chases the um, hundred. The Bible says that one chases a thousand, but two ten thousand. God is going to do great things. God is going to do great things. How am I understanding this? It's about love. Unconditional love. God is love. How am I understand this? You're going to see things changing now. And if you really feel you don't have that love, you're going to pray to God to give you that love. God said, that. God has love. Woo! 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 Which is everlasting. God's love is everlasting. And if you want what you are going to pray what God is going to give you today is going to fill your life to fill you with his godly love 
Some man killed a fellow man because of a woman called David. David killed a man because of his wife. But God came and asked him, Why didn't you ask me to give you more love for your wife? For the one we had. Instead of being covetous for the other one who never belonged to you. You would have come for more love for me. We get a mask. Come, 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 and you get a cool love. Yes, go to God and ask for more love. Romans five five. Abalugu mi sula ya kuchana. We come, 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 and you get a cool love. Tell God to add you more love. Ogenda kwa galu muntu oyu. You will love that person. Me, I love Mrs. Mugabe. And I really tell God to give me more love daily. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba kadiwa ni kanya yoba kuka mu amani yo. Oba in my life. Huh? If you're here and you're not yet married, someone posed the question saying that I will give you a man. I'll give you a scripture already to say. You who is preparing to get married, you will make that prayer. God to give you that very partner that you need. And if you really affirm no, you, it, you, if you confirm that she's the one, the day you will divorce that person you will divorce that person or hate that person, that, person, that, person, that is disobedience. That is the kind of prayer I made to get that one. I don't want to disobey unto God who gave me Romans this one. Barumi tano tano. Nato kusubila teku kwa sansonyi. Ah. Kubango kwa kala kwa katunda kufukitua dala miti majafe. Kuomo yom tu kufuketua wewa. Ah. Ah. Kusubila teku kwa sansonyi. Hope never disappoints. Such hope never disappoints. Oh. The rules all sh shames us. For God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You need the Holy Spirit to pour more love. You hardly say If you feel you don't have love for that person, you know that God will pour out new love within you. How many are understanding? You need more love. I heard a song way back. A certain one was singing that God would. You need to ask God to give you more love. God can increase the love. The love levels. There is that man really on social media that really touches me. He has a wife. Yes, he has a wife. He saw that woman when they were sitting in school. Time came, they married each other. How many of you now have seen that man? I'm winding up. Don't worry. I'm finishing. Within ten minutes, I will be done. But you need more love. You need more love. You need more love. You need God's love. Unconditional love. This man married a woman, and then this woman was married to a man. He never married another woman. They were having their celebrations. Ten years. The man is. Many people are That man never married. That people were because he made a vow and said where the poor are all rich in good and bad you speak as words but end up lying to yourselves that you will be in reachness is covered in but when poverty sneaks in you run away when bad comes in you quit 
and yet you pledged. You vowed. You would tell us. Amos chapter 7 verse 7. And eight. That will be, I'm going to use that as my last scripture. Amos chapter 7. Verse 7 8. Amos. Go talk about Jesus. Amos Musambu. Musambu Ah. Kaila mukama na yimi ya kumabari gechi senge echa zinvivwa no mugogo gera. That is showed me. That is showed me. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. Au mukama na ngama nti amosola bachi. Naha. Na ngama nti mugogo gera. Ah. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I am setting a plumb line as a standard. As a what? As a what? Standard. As a what? Standard. As a what? Standard. As a standard in the midst of my people, Israel. I will not pass by and spare them anymore. The door of mercy is shut. The plumb line um, go, go, get is the line they use when they're building, uh, when they're constructing a building. Everything is measured according to the plumb line. God's plumb line is, a, is L O V E. It's love. God brought Jesus yes. and put him in the midst of Israel. And Jesus, Jesus Christ is God's love. Yes, Christ is God's plumb line. Whatever you do, you must ask this is the plumb line now. Are you seeing the plumb line? It falls straight. Now this shows if God is love, He wants us out to fall straight. We must emulate Him. It falls straight. Everything is measured on this plumb line. Whatever God is going to do to you. Is going to use that standard of love to give it to you. With everything God is going to do, with everything God is going to do in your marriage, he's going to depend on his plumb line. That plumb line. The only thing that is so close to God's kingdom is marriage. God is a God of family. He's a father. He has a son. He's a, God is a God of family. So the only thing that is closest to his heart which resembles what he has in heaven is marriage. That is the standard. The standard in our ministry is love. And that love is Jesus. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? So whatever God is going to do to me and you, whatever I give you, to use that standard, which is love. If you need clients and you have your shop, you want clients, do you really segregate? Hmm? Do you say now? You are a witch doctor. You will not buy from my shop. If now you really have a shop, he told Abraham. If you want to be 
you want me to bless you? If you want to be blessed, I'm going to bless you and make you a bless of all nations. I'm going to bless you and make you a lover of everyone. Look at that plumb line. It falls straight. When they're building the house, everything is sent on that plumb line. Everything that is its center. Until they finish the building, they use that, that plumb line. Katinange nawe. Me and you also, with whatsoever God is going to do, is going to depend on love. Love is going to depend on love. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. We are going to pray. We are going to pray and release you. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 Tana na muna na matayo Na gambatia Kale fetuberenga abatukirivu Nga kita palimu guru wali omutukirivu Ah Echa chulide You therefore must be perfect Growing to complete maturity Of godliness In mind and character And having reached the proper height Of virtue and integrity As your heavenly father is perfect. You read the scripture and you, it, and you read it and you read it and you read it and you read it. Tuina okubera abantu abatu kiride ngatu kulia dela mukukura okobwa okokutia katonda mundo oza ne mumbala eranga tu tu kirida kuchigera echobwe simbu nobusukurumu Nga chita foo mkuru Bwari nti ya tu kirira We must emulate him Tulina. We must oh. resemble him God is love Katonda kwa We are his children Tulibana. We carry his DNA Ena We saizwe. must be lover of Tulina. other people oh. We must love each other We must be with love in the family John 7.26 Yes, we have Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus. Growing God God in love, love. That is when you see someone being far munne. from the partner. They don't want to greet each other. Haga. They don't give hands. One does not talk to the partner. Sima. One never appreciates another. There you get to know that the love John is seventeen twenty six. Yokana Mukaga. Yokana Mukaga. Okwagala kuwanjagala kuberenga mubo nange mubo. That's my last scripture. I have made you I have made your name known to them and revealed your character and you are very self this is Jesus talking now to ask me and you I will continue to make you known that the love which you have bestowed upon me may be in them felt in their hearts and I myself May be in them. So, love certainly from God. God and His Son loved each other. Then, after loving each other, they decided to, to send love to the world. They extended their love to the world. Which means from today, God wants to sit in you. He wants to get a place in your heart so that you can extend His love to everyone.
Starting with your home. Jesus Yesu. is God's love Kwa at work. Katonda. Jesus Yesu. if you are claiming to be a Christian and you don't have love it means Kitegeza. you don't have God. Kale you don't have Christ. Yesu. You are just pretending you are pretending we are just pretending to be Christians but God will judge us me and you because he left a law which is the law of love may God bless you Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have you understood? You are going to love the unlovables. Choboy, the Holy Spirit told me that is why you see giving birth to Hello. Jesus. Oh, why? Yes, so giving birth to Jesus he was born in that oh, woman over 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 yes, so Joseph and Mary you are leaving this place when Jesus is back in your marriage the moment Jesus sat in the marriage of those two people money started coming money is coming money is coming Get out of your offering. Let's offer in the house of the Lord. In Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord is going to clothe you with a special grace today. Kusaba. We are going to pray in about 15 minutes. We shall have left this place. But I pray for the men and women going to pray in the house. Pray that you might power shall be revealed. I pray for a new grace for the nations. And a new grace for the love. And a new anointing. Assure the power of your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have received a weapon. Which weapon? Will make you great in all things. Ya gara kumanye kutegere kwe mukama omutima kwange kunonya mukama ya gara kumanye ngempe omutungu wenonya masago kunywa omutima kwange kunonya How many of you are here yet to know If you've never gotten born again, I would like to pray with you. You've never gotten born born again. Maybe you are one of you need Jesus, you feel. In five minutes, I'll be back. Amen. 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 Amen.
Five minutes speak to God. Five minutes speak to God. Tell him to pour out his love in your heart. heart. Start thanking God. Pour within this very word. There is a special grace that you're going to receive. Receive. Tell tell him him today, I've heard your word. Speak unto God. Speak unto God. Pray. Speak to God. Speak unto 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 that if you love what you shed in our hearts today, Lord, we pray that the love of God will come back in your life. Let the love come in your life. Call on the Almighty to come back in your marriage. Call on the Spirit of the Lord. Let Him unleash this love of God into your life. Ramaseke teribusha katach tango mweswa katonda vero mla mu tuwa galo kukuru kuru mwa mukamuru wareo uri echari chafa makago uri echari chafa uri echari chazi kibwa uri echari chabi kibwa muita tole kifocho wangu la mubu mumakaga muru wareo sabo kwela kwa mukama e sima ya tama anguka omwa mukama na ako mao na jana amamira uri kina kizu kizwa walue kiseru wareo Walwe kizuki zuwaro walwe kisumuro waro yitomwa wakatona mukambe olwarero bwekwe netaka mukama koko somo yo mtukufu nyamba katona wange muri nyali ya Yesu omunazaresi oh oh in my heart in my spirit Power the love of God in my spirit in the name of Jesus as you have just told us that Jesus Christ you are an excess of God's love may you shed your love into my heart in the name of Jesus may you increase in my own focus of my my life in the name of Jesus increase in my spirit you are love God you are love I want you to increase because it was written it's a matter that Jesus increases. Increase my life. Increase my marriage. Increase my children. Increase whatever I hear. Increase whatever I speak. In the name of Jesus. We are talking about younger and younger. Eri obula mugo, eri amakago, eri baro, muyito olwaro, saba katatata, ukwagala mukamale ka kweyongere mbe yange mukama, kweyongere makaga. Yita Yesu akomukwagala kweyongere bana bange mukama. Yita Yesu ache makago. Yita katonda ingire makago. Yita katonda jembula mugo. Yita katonda je makago. Saba buluwa bate tomulaba. Wota mulaba makago. Wota mulaba mbiri mucho. Wota mulaba mbiya funa. Jesus. Jesus. Katonda kwa gara. Muka amba atu alek fucho raro. Tell him to take his position. May God take his position. May he take his position. In your marriage. In your relationship. In your finances. In the name of Jesus. Saba. Mukama tata, liku kwa gala kwa mukama kwa yongele mili mchange Kwa gala kwa kema kagange mukama kwa kema kagange mama Akaba tega fa, hivu yi mchua dechi fa Kwa gala kwa tata, leka kula visiwe Kwa yi kema kagange tata, kwa jenga kwa mwika Kwa bele we michuka, kwa bele we mizuki la tata Kwa bele we mula mwomu tomu jia mukama Hama kaga tomu jia mukama Kwa kwa gala kwa tata, liku kwa gala kwa mukama Kwa yongele mukama, leka kwa yongele tata Mwuri nyale yesu Yimira kwa makuru kwa Yimira kwa makuru kwa Bible ya gabu chetuna sawa nga John 14.14 Says Whatever you ask in my name I will do it to you I want you to grow at whoever you feel like Pray for whatever you want in the presence of the Lord Pray for it Pray for it if you ask anything in Jesus' name, it will give, it will be done unto you. Tell him everything you feel like. 
ask for that from him. 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 In the name of Jesus, ask for anything. That is not a penny check. That is not a penny check. Ask for anything. 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 If you came with your wife, get out of her hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, if you are with your husband or wife, get out of hands and get hold of her hands and get hold of her hands. Pray for that thing that you do. In the name of Jesus, pray for it. In the name of Jesus, anything, 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 in your marriage, whatever you need to be restored, whatever you need to be restored, in the name of Jesus, it's being restored. In the name of Jesus, whatever seems to be dead, but in the name of Jesus, it is receiving life. It's being restored. In the name of Jesus. Robo sakata ya ribo sekete ribo mazanda ya kama sekete ribo sekete ribo masha kata ya ribo sanda ya rama sekete. In the name of Jesus. Even if you need a building, God is giving it to you. In the name of Jesus. Make a prayer agreement. In the name of Jesus. God is changing your situation. He is changing the circumstances surrounding you. He is doing those. Yes. Yes. The death, the failure, the failure, the failure, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Breathe in. Sing his Breathe out. Muka. As we see that rain, without reasoning, God is releasing the blessing to you. That is a sign. It's a sign that God is releasing a blessing upon your families. In the name of Jesus. Breathe in. Out. 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 Receive the spirit of God. Touch in the name of Jesus. He is feeling with his spirit of love. The unquenchable love. Unstoppable love. Right now. Right now. Unquenchable love. Unstoppable love. Feel them. Touch in the name of Jesus. Receive power. The power of love. The power of love. Touch in the name of Jesus. And right now, I command every demon that attacks your home, your relationship is dying from the roots. Come out of your homes. Come out of your homes. That spirit of the church of Firizwa. That spirit of the church of it is living in my mind. It is living in my mind. It is living in my mind. Come out! Fire! 
Those demons that bring about I speak unto them now. Those demons that bring about the understandings. I speak unto those demons. Unto those demons. I speak unto those demons. I speak unto those demons. Catch fire. All the powers today. All the spirits today. Every kind of spirit that that is your marriage. Whatever is in your marriage. Whatsoever is in your prayer life. Vayo! Robo there is the place call of God. Call the spirit of God. Call on the spirit of the Lord. Unto your marriage. Unto your life. Unto your, Unto your financial. Welcome him. 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 The Blessings blessing the blessing the blessing the blessing the blessing Yes, 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 Yes,
Those those Simba <laughs> Everyone is changing. 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 Everyone
changing. There is change of seasons. Salah. 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 What was change about? What was change about? Salah. That on that you saw, I want you to say your name is Sarah. That every of you are in Sua, every Sarah be one in Sua, Sizonia and Choka, Sizonia of Okara. There is a bandas. There is a bandas. There is a sound of a bandas. The 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 sound of a bandas. Wabe wokuika, wabe chomuika, wabe wakambi wabe chomuika, wakambi tata, wabe wakamuika makagazi, wano guwele kwa muika, wano kisa guwele kwa muika, tato kwa wano guwele kwa muika. There is a sound of a banas, there is a sound of a banas, there is a sound of a banas, sara, sara, wabe wakuika kwa muika, wabe wakamuika tata, wabe wakamuika kwa muika, wabe wakamuika kwa muika, wakama tata, emile mbe wakamuika, Gajamu ikatata, gatojiri kokoma, muri nyari yesu, leka wali chimu tata, echama ka, chivere chamu ika, omo kisa, guere guamu ika, omo yowa mu kama, esa demu kama, ibere dia mu katata, gari amine mu kama, gari amu kisa tata, muri nyari yesu, hawa yesa ba, wabere we chamu ika, geku we we ka, okuva mu guru, waga me mu kama, leka katuna ing, omo ika guke, mu nyumba yangu, omo ika guke, okomo yamuto ku, mu miri mu changu, mu biyemfu na biyangu, muri nyari yesu, wakuma kumu. There is a sound of abundance. 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 Make your prayer. 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 Make your prayer.
Pray, Sara, pray, Sara, pray, Sara, pray, Sara, pray. Ukushakataya, mukama tata, kwata kuma kagangi, kwata kuwa na bangi mukama, kwata kufun bangi tata, uzi singo mukama, kwata kubi yangu tata, kwata kubi mfuna biangi, umoyo wa mukama, kwata kubi umoyo nebiombiri, muri njali yesu, uzi zemo bula mu, open your mouth, masheke tiko, yasami akamuako, and pray, osabe. You are recovering all things. You are recovering all things. In His presence. You are recovering all things. You are recovering all things. In His presence. Oh, we chiti wa chio mukama. Oh, we chinto chikomia otata. Oh, we chiko mukama. Oh, we moya. Oh, we chimu kwa we skugenda. That speech of the Lord is living. That which had attacked the children. That which had attacked the children. Pray. Oh, Musimu Gowensi, Gugende Murinyesu, Ogo Goka Gende, Murinyesu, Ogo Ogumba, Tata Gugende, Ogo Goka Kebiyefuna, Ogo Kumila Mavancha, Ogo Nonga Miyako, Avanto Arfo, Musimu Gowimba, Ogo Arumba Makagange, Ogo Arumba Family, Ogo Arumba Vana Vange, Murinyesu, Mula Giro Gugenda, Gugendo Rwadelo, Ogo Kujia Kwemo Kama, Eka Gugende Tata, Ogo Akwa Tebiyefuna, Ogo Akwa Ata, Eki Fodiye Kolela, Eki Tundo Diye Kolela, Murinyesu, Ogo Gwande Gunandola, Gangon Sombe Enu, Ogo Simu Gwendo Ate. Morinya Yesu, Olwale Ogogenda, Olwale Ogote, Morinya Yesu, Olwale Sawa, Olwale Sawa. Those demons that are bringing up losses, those that are bringing up losses, Rubara Agenda, the demons are leaving. Yarinju Agenda, the demons are leaving. Pray. 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 Mourinho Yesu, o moyo go kufa, o go ade gutamria, o nyumba yo, o ade gutamria, o family, Mourinho Yesu, na na we go kunonya, o lo ayo togo akanya, o lo ayo go angulwa, no musingo. Jiduka, jiduka, jiduka. Running away. Oseketea, jiduka, jigenda. O go akwa tabalo. O go akwa tabushara o. That attacked your wife. O go akwa mire go akwa. Eje jaru meki senge. Those demons that are coming to you. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Just them away. Shaka tayo goba chika urechu. Awaye goba chisajechu. Echi wade chikwe gata ko. Echi wade chikwe gata ko. Echi kaze cho chikwe. Nga chitambe cho chikwe. Echi samu sete. Shaka tayo goba goba goba. Goba goba goba. Goba 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 goba. Yes, 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 yes. Goba 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 goba. 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 Goba 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 Chigube, gobe chisote chuo, gobe ente yotolota, gobe chigube, muri nyaya yesu, muga etata, atu gobe ente, muri nyaya yesu, tu gobe misumo chuo, tu gobe misumo chuo, tu gobe bikelvi, tu gobe bikelvi, muri nyaya yesu, tu gobe aba fau, muma yuma gafu, tu bi goba maka gafu, tu bi goba bitanda, muri nyaya yesu, tu bi goba maya yuma, tu bi goba mirimu, muri nyaya yesu, tu goba gatambo, muba na tu goba, emi oja familia, tu jia goba kum, emi oja bika, muri nyaya yesu, cheva ante kaku, cheva informisa, tu goba muri nyaya yesu. Genda, genda, goba, 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 chindwe chuo, chindwe goba, chindwe goba, goba, chisote chuo, goba, mukadi chuo, 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 rupwe, goba, chakatai, goba, chuo, chuo, kaniwa, rejection, mepeja 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 rejection, Masha Kataya Goba 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 Goba
Chego wa komori nyesu Chego wa chigo wa Echo wa tafumbila Echa wa sengange Echi ya chilonola Echi ya karondosi Chego kutu lako Chika ula chigo wa Muri nyesu Echi tambo chigo wa Echi tamaka Echi temimu Family demons, the 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 family demons, Sima <laughs> you must go back to your original position you must be with authority in your home as a husband as a woman you need God to restore you in your true position Revelation chapter 5 verse 12 I want you to claim all these things to be in your marriage Yes. receive power. God, be slow. You must claim power among riches. Wisdom, might, honor, majesty, that's glory, splendor, and blessing. You must claim all things. Claim you need blessings. riches, you need blessings, you need authority. Saba. Pray. All those seven things the devil had sold them from you, but you need them to be restored. Your home will be glorious, you will be rich, you will be powerful in the name of Jesus. You will be blessed. Pray in those words, pray for them. All the seven things you need in them. Claim them to be in your marriage. Those seven things. Pray. 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 Mugamba wangule sati akazona Ezi wale ziba kwa kule meruwa Oye yatiwa Akutise yona Akutise fosho makago Akutise obu kakabo Akutise chitiwa cho Akutise obu yinstabo Akutise ama kesko Ama keska temu Ama kesko na agabaro Ama keska abana Waluwa ama keska abana 
You need wisdom. Sarah, <laughs> Yes, Yes, <laughs> The spirit of glory is sending upon you. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, is sending upon you in the name of Jesus. Reboshete la ba 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 ba. Jerete tele kotoro ba ba ba. Rimosi kaya ra 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 ba 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 ba. Materesete li randele bosha. Comfort is not your portion. Man and borrowing is not your portion. You must be rich. Even the rich you call rich. Even the blessed you call blessed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Start declaring upon your life whatever Start declaring you upon your life in others prophesy upon your marriage the bible says you pray and you make your prayer and you be hard you decree a thing and to be established unto you start decreeing now prophesy declare great things I will be blessed as another country. You always be glorious in the name of Jesus. You will be blessed next in the country. Man will serve you as your servant. You will not die, but you will live to declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I now declare and decree that every curse that has been upon you. As was written, God turns the curse into a blessing. You are going to be a blessed to the nations. You are going to be a blessed to the nations. You and your family will serve a living God. In the name of Jesus, man will serve you. It will never be a problem to you. Man will Serve as your servant in terms of dollars, pounds, pounds euro, euro, yen, yen francs, France. pounds. In the name of Jesus, you get hearts of cattle. In the name of Jesus, I now can decree the expansion of your influence. Your title is enlarging. You call one person. A thousand people will come unto you. I will be blessed as another country. And many will come unto you. I declare that your business is the best of the world. Wherever you will be, the presence of the Lord and the anointing of God is going to be in the Bible. The presence of God. I declare it to be 
the God who moved with Jacob nawe. shall move with you. You will walk in authority and glory, in power. You will be able to be starting with you in your family to ensure that God is present. And they'll see oh, the miracle that really God heals in the name of Jesus. You're not going to be poor. Oh, no, You're going to be rich. Oh, no, You're going to be wise. Oh, no, You're going to be among oh, no, kings. You're going to be among oh, the honorable. And people will look for you. Abantu, people will come for consultants. Abantu, in the name of Jesus. You are becoming a consultant. You are becoming a consultant. You are becoming a consultant. A marriage consultant. In the name of Jesus. You are going to be a life of the nations. God will bless the nations. Through your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship 